It's time for a cryptid here on We Are If, and we are heading over to the Isle of Man, a land famous for tailless cats and motorcycle racing. For those unfamiliar with the place, the Isle of Man is part of the British Isles, found in the Irish Sea off the northwest coast of England. The island lies roughly at an equal distance between England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. The Isle of Man is not part of the United Kingdom, but it is a crown possession since 1828. The island is self-governing in its internal affairs, but comes under the supervision of the British Home Office. The Isle of Man has seen inhabitation since the Mesolithic period. Among its earliest inhabitants were the Celts and their language, Manx, which is closely related to Gaelic. It may also be home to some stranger creatures. The Isle of Man shares many of its legends with the Irish. These legends include wild men, and this brings us to a Bigfoot-like creature known as the Bulgain. Let's take a look. Welcome to IF, videos on history, mystery, and the strange. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video again. The legendary wild man, the Bougain, are like the many other stories told across the world of man-like creatures living in the wilds and occasionally interacting with humanity. Those of us with an interest in cryptozoology know many of these creatures, from the Genosqua to the Yeti. It seems all countries and cultures have a wild man legend. The Bougain, in Manx legend, is a robust subterranean creature, again an animal that lives on the fringes, taking residence beneath our feet like the creatures I talked about in my recent video, Sewer Cryptids, linked above. The Bougain is also said to have many features that would remind you of the underground mammal, the Mole a hairy version of a Scandinavian troll with glowing eyes and large tusks. Bougains are thought to be magical creatures, sometimes being hired for muscle by fairy folk who use them to punish people who have wronged them in some way. The story of Centrinian's church offers us a glimpse into the creature's habits and behavior. When Centrinian's church was built, a Bougain decided that if it was to be constructed near its home, then the church bells would not disturb its sleep. So, for three nights in a row, it smashed and threw the roof off of the church. Each time, the roof was rebuilt. Until defeated, the roof was never put back on, the church remaining roofless until today. Bougains like the one at St. Trinian's are said to be covered with a mane of coarse black hair have eyes which burn like torches and possess sharp tusks. However, 100 years ago, the Bougain were said to take on any form they chose. They have been said to appear as small cats, horses, fierce bulls, and in one story from near Fistard or the one near Port St. Mary, shapeless and like a turf stack. The Bougain is a very interesting story in that it is so similar to the stories of trolls found across Europe. Most stories of trolls originate in Norway. They give us stories of trolls that are big, stupid, and enjoy eating humans. The origin of these troll stories is difficult to locate. This is because most of the Norse legends were handed down through oral tradition. One commonly held belief about trolls is that they change to stone when exposed to sunlight. Norway being a rocky place with plenty of stone crags and outcroppings. It doesn't take a lot to think that in these people's imaginations, these rock formations may just look almost human-like, especially on a wet and windy winter's night. This brings us to a place known as Trolltadini, an area full of these oddly shaped rocks and home to a legend in which two troll armies battled. The description of trolls in ancient Norse legends are similar to the cryptids spoken about on the Isle of Man. They are said to be bigger than humans and have stockier bodies. They are strong and brutish, 
with prominent noses and heavy brows. They enjoy eating human flesh and are thought to be slow and dim-witted. Mm. So could there be any basis in reality for the Bougain and trolls? Could they be the same creature going by a different name? Just like Sasquatch and Bigfoot. Some cryptid researchers believe that the stories of trolls may in fact have some basis in truth. Trolls, many claim, do seem to have a resemblance to Neanderthals. Neanderthals with their heavy jaws, deep brows, large stocky bodies and strength make good substitutes for the creatures. The theory is that modern man across Europe encountered surviving groups of Neanderthals. Early humans would have recognized the similarities between themselves and these Neanderthals, but also observed the many differences. This could have led them to conclude that the Neanderthals were not as advanced as humans and were more beast-like. These early humans and their tribes intermingled and when they did, they shared their stories of their encounters with Neanderthals, this evolving into myths and legend over time till what we know about today. What do you think? Could Neanderthals or the memory of them go some way to explain the numerous wild man legends found across the globe? Could there still be pockets of them surviving, this perpetuating the legend into modern times? Had you heard of the Bougain and do you think it could be the same creature as a troll? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you like what I do here on the channel, hit that red button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.